An empty prompt is the single most intimidating thing that one can see when making AI art. But it's not out of fear of trying, it's out of fear of losing time and making uninspiring and soulless images. You see, the problem with AI art is that it's cheap and easy. You can make an endless supply of images by just repeatedly clicking the Generate Now button. When you compare this to what a traditional artist does, it's drastically different. You see, traditional artists will go through a very deliberate creative process. They think about the subject, what it is that they want to convey in their artwork, how they want to approach the problem, they go out and buy supplies, and much more before a single stroke of the brush ever hits the canvas, where they then spend countless hours on a single piece of work. Whereas with AI art, it's mere seconds to generate an image. Basically, AI art is designed to completely remove the creative process. It's a cheap imitation of the real thing. But what if you could bake in the creative process? What would that look like? Well, that's kind of the point of this video. The reason why this bothered me so much is that I've sat for hours needlessly generating images and hacking away at prompts, only to be left with nothing more than a bunch of images that are far less inspiring and don't really convey anything at all. The images were dead, soulless, and they lacked emotion. So here's a framework that I put together that has helped me tremendously by saving time, making better outputs, and most of all, makes this process both challenging and rewarding. Before typing a single letter into the prompt, I like to ask myself why I'm creating this in the first place. Like truly, deep down, why? You have to give yourself direction or an objective of what it is exactly that you want to achieve. Are you looking to make something that sparks laughter, gets a community talking, makes people sad, curious, angry, in awe? Or perhaps it's for work. Whatever it is, you have to answer the why. This gives you direction before you effectively pull up a seat to the digital art table. But here's the kicker. Answering the why is only half the battle. You also need to figure out how to get the value from the image. Again, going back to my earlier point, creating AI art is easy. Anyone can do it. Just the same as anyone can pick up a paintbrush and start painting. In my opinion, making value is the hardest part of this entire process. Value is defined as the relative worth, utility, or importance of something. Is what you make with a state-of-the-art diffusion model really valuable to you or others? Really take a moment to think about that. So how do you make value? Ask yourself why you are creating this image in the first place. For example, if it's for public display, then think of your audience. Put yourself in their shoes. Who are they? What do they like? What do you want them to feel when they view your image? Remember, we are an emotionally driven species. There needs to be a reason why someone would care to look at an image you made, otherwise it's just noise in an endless field of AI generated art. Now once you know the why and the potential value of your efforts, it's time to get inspired. Inspiration can come from anywhere and everyone is truly different in this process. Inspiration can be a concept, a subject, things, nature, idioms, taglines, whatever it is that you want it to be. Once you have your source of inspiration, start to play with how you can join it with other concepts, contrast it with others, and so on. For example, if the concept was New York City, for instance, you could take that and join it with other concepts closely associated with New York City, such as the people, pizza, subways, or even the scaffolding. The list goes on. It doesn't just relate to concepts or subjects, but colors and composition can also be an inspiration. Try a new color palette or a new approach to composing your image. Lastly, people love a good story. Use this as the underlying way to convey a message with your prompt. Or better yet, you could try to string together multiple images to build a story. So look anywhere for inspiration and truly stop and think how it might be used to build something great. As far as the technical details of models, control nets, textual embeddings, steps, samplers, and so on, these are the modern day equivalent of an artist worrying about their paintbrush, pencil, easel, paint color, and other necessary yet trivial supplies. While knowing how to use them is incredibly important, don't let them handcuff your ideas. These are tools, not limitations. One caveat to this, of course, is that understanding and knowing all the tools available at your disposal can undoubtedly make you generate better outputs as you'll have greater understanding of your limits, but this just comes with time and experience, of which you'll gain more by simply experimenting and reading. So look, I love shipping things. There is no better feeling to me than hitting that publish now button and sharing something with the world. 
But these innate feelings only get worse with AI art as the friction for sharing is super low. But try your best to exercise restraint. After you have everything done, take a break or a walk and then come back to your finished image and see if it still hits all the right marks that you initially set out for it. Did the image inspire, make you laugh, or provide a sense of nostalgia? Ask yourself what it's missing, if anything. Try looking at it through a different point of view. Whatever it is, remind yourself why you made it in the first place and let that be your guiding light before sharing it to the world. Once it's out there, whether publicly, privately, or whatever it might be, begin the feedback loop and see how it can be improved upon. Listen to what others say and write it down. While there are, of course, critical people out there, more often than not, people are saying things without ill intent. They are just providing feedback, so don't take it personally. Measure the impact if possible. This can be hard metrics like view counts, likes, comments, and so on, or it can be as simple as just someone coming up to you and telling you how much they enjoyed what you made. When you give yourself a measurable goal, it'll help inform you on what you can do going forward. So with that, I hope this provides a rudder to your digital boat, if you will to help steer you through the creation process and make even better images with AI. I hope that you enjoyed the video and take care.